All right, team, so we're back, of course, talk about some Final Fantasy VII, and we have kind of one major thing to talk about today, but we're also going to shoehorn in some, a little bit of Crisis Core, just because I didn't want to do just a video about this topic, because it seemed a little bit weird, but I do think it's an important topic to discuss. As for the Crisis Core stuff, we got an article, I believe it was yesterday, that has, like, some new images, you get to see, like, Reno and Rude, they talk a little bit about the game with, like, the missions and the DMW, nothing necessarily new, but there's one aspect of the article that I definitely want to talk about for sure. So kind of the main part of this video, there's no real easy way to segue into this. Um, on the Japanese side of the voice acting cast, Takahiro Sakurai, which is the voice actor for Cloud, I think he's been the voice actor for Cloud the entire time, since Cloud has had a voice, if I'm not mistaken. They're pretty adamant about keeping like the voice cast on the Japanese side of stuff. Well, it was revealed, I believe, earlier today that he has been cheating on his wife. He's been having an affair with actually a co-worker for the last decade, 10 years. Actually, according to the Silicon Era article, it's been for over 10 years, but I've seen other articles saying a decade or 10 years or whatever the case, but somewhere around that time frame, he's been having an affair with this other woman. Now, I want to specify really quickly before we continue that the only reason I'm covering this is because it could directly, of course, affect FF7, FF7 Remake Trilogy, uh, at least on the Japanese side of things, of course. Uh, but people have given examples on like Reddit and stuff like that in past instances where the similar thing has happened where a voice actor is caught cheating and either they just go on like hiatus or something like that and there's other instances where they get caught cheating and just continue working like nothing ever happened so we don't know exactly what's going to happen here and obviously this affects more than just final fantasy and final fantasy 7 the guy does voice acting for a shit ton of animes as well so there could be widespread consequences just kind of depending on what happens here we also live in the era of cancel culture but japan's kind of an old school country right so i don't know if that would really affect anybody over there necessarily i don't know if cancel culture is a thing there but that is a thing, you know, if there's enough uproar from, like, the fans or the community, the guy could lose his job, or some of his jobs or something. But also, I want to cover this and talk about it, because I think it's important for people to know the person behind the voice. Some people like to separate the art from the artist, and I guess that's perfectly fine if that's what you want to do. But me, personally, if I'm going to be a fan of something or somebody, I want to know that they're a good person, too. Like, if we were to come out that the voice acting cast, the English side of stuff for Remake, if they were, like, terrible people, I'd be upset by that. I'd probably look at their character a bit differently, to be honest. But let's continue. So the guy's been cheating on his wife with this girl for more than a decade at this point. But she was also a writer for his radio show, which there's rumors that he was maybe cheating or something like that just because the radio show had been going on for like nine years now. But it ended just a couple days ago. So people thought that was kind of weird, right? So there had to be something behind the scenes. And of course, a couple days later, we learned this. But the fact that the radio show lasted nine years, but he'd been cheating on his wife with this woman for more than 10 years shows exactly why he hired her as a writer, simply because they were sleeping together. And the biggest problem I have with all this is, of course, just the idea of infidelity. Cheating is always bad in my eyes, but he's been married to his wife for so long, right? He's, him and his wife have been together for like 20 plus years. But it actually turns out that the woman he was cheating on his wife with didn't even know he was actually married. And it's actually, it was kind of hidden from a lot of people because even his like agency, some of his employers didn't even know that he was married either. Like that's how well hidden it was. So this guy was hiding, you know, two separate relationships for a long period of time. Again, he's cheating on his wife for 10 years, dude. Let's put this into context. The guy's like 48, I believe. So you're looking at like a fourth to a fifth of this guy's entire lifetime, he has been cheating on his wife. And for half of their marriage, he's been cheating on his wife. But the fact that he could do that and do it for so long and so well, to me, is like an indication of like a bad person, dude. Something that's evil, because how else could you do that? And like, as I said that, I know that it sounds kind of obvious because cheating is bad, but there are mistakes, right? Some people cheat out of anger, uh, out of maybe they're not in the right mindset, maybe they're not sober, etc., etc. Mistakes can be made, and sometimes couples can work through that shit, right? That's one thing. It's one thing if he just mistakenly one night slept with some chick, his wife found out, and they were able to work it out or something. But the fact that he strung this along for an entire motherfucking decade, dude. He's a bad guy. That's just a fact. And actually, it gets even worse than that, because not only did the woman not know that he was married, she was also, I guess, expecting that they were getting married one day. Obviously, they've been together for such a long time. But she freaked out when she found out, obviously quit her job, and obviously the radio show's done anyways. But it turns out she had to be taken to an emergency room because she was in such a state of shock by finding this out. Because not only is this guy's marriage probably over, I would assume, if the wife's smart, she would leave him. But this woman's also learning that the last 10 years of her life have been a lie too. So because of this guy's actions, he's actually fucking up, you know, at least two separate lives. And I guess technically a third too, because he's going to be fucking up his life as well. But he actually, you know, put somebody in the goddamn hospital because of this stuff. So it's like, it's crazy, dude. This guy's... He's just simply a bad dude. That's all there is to it. But I also want to read this part from the Silicon Air article that says, A spokesperson for Sakurai stated that he apologized for the situation. The spokesperson has not yet met with Sakurai's wife. However, the spokesperson stated they believe that Sakurai does feel guilt about what has happened. He has repeatedly stated that he does not want to cause any further problems for Aiko, whatever. That's the girl he's cheating his wife with. Aiko, Aiko. And that's where I gotta call it some bullshit, right? The guys apologize and the spokesperson says that they think they feel guilt, and they don't. They simply do not. This was not an 
accidental thing that happened, right? This was something that happened for a long period of time. Ten years he strung both of these women along. You do not feel guilt. You're only apologizing because you got caught. That's all there is to it. It's an empty apology. And actually, just looking into it for the sake of time frame, he's been voicing Cloud since Kingdom Hearts in 2002. So, 20 years. So, he's been voicing Cloud around about as long as he's been married, which means for about half the time he's been voicing Cloud or more, he's been cheating. He's been a shitty person almost the entire time. But the majority of the time he's been voicing Cloud. It's just terrible to learn, dude. They say don't meet your heroes. And as far as I'm aware right now, that's all there is to talk about this. Um... If there is any sort of update to this, we'll definitely put it in a video somewhere. I probably wouldn't do like a dedicated video for it, but if like maybe they want to replace him as a voice actor or something down the line for a remake or something, we'll, we'll definitely have to talk about that, of course. Because it's obviously a big deal if they were to want to go down that route because he's just been voicing Cloud for so damn long. But again, I want to cover this because I do think it's important for people to know this, especially if you are a fan of the Japanese voice acting cast. Because I know there's people that speak English but play these games with the Japanese voices or whatever the case. And I know like upcoming with Crisis Core Union, I've seen people complain about uh, Caleb Pierce voice and Zack, right? So a lot of people who said that they're going to play Crisis Core Union with the Japanese voiceovers and obviously Cloud's a part of that story. And I'm not telling you how to feel. You can absolutely form your own opinion. I just want to put the information out there. You, if you're somebody that can separate the art from the artist, that is perfectly fine. It doesn't really change my opinion on the character of Cloud, which I've seen people talking about. Like, it shouldn't, obviously. This is a video game. We're talking about real life shit here. Like, this is people's lives being affected. Who gives a shit about Cloud in this moment? Like, let's be honest here. I voiced my opinion enough on this. Let's move on. Um, so the Crisis Core side of stuff, again, like I said, there's not really anything new, but we do get this cool picture of Reno. He looks pretty good in Crisis Core. He looks just like he does in Remake, honestly. Obviously, there's a picture of Rude. They look a little bit different to the remake counterparts, but more or less the same. Really just Rude in this case, I guess, because he's got the white undershirt, which he doesn't have in Remake. Obviously, in Remake, he's rocking the all-black suit, which looks too damn good. And actually, looking them up on Google Images, I came across the exact counterparts to these newer picks from the original Crisis Core. So you get a good side-by-side -side to see how much better Crisis Core Union is looking. We also got this picture of Hojo, which I've seen people already point out. Like, he looks way younger here, which is odd, because when it comes to Crisis Core, it only takes place like seven years before the events of FF7. Depending on where you're at in the story, it's closer to the FF7 events, obviously, because there's a bit of a time skip. But he looks like 20 years younger here or some shit, right? Because in Remake, he is looking rough. But actually, the main thing I want to put focus on is that when it comes to the character of Reno, he's still being voiced by the original voice actor, Kiji Fujiwara, I think I say his name. Now, that itself isn't necessarily a surprise, right? As you mentioned earlier in the video, usually on the Japanese side of stuff, they kept the same voice actors for a very long time. But it turns out that Fujiwara actually died in 2020. So what I'm not sure of is how that works exactly because they're going to keep his original voice, which is great because I think that's a, you know, that's a good tribute to the guy. But I'm fairly certain that when it came to the original Crisis Core that Reno had some unvoiced sections, right? some unvoiced lines. And obviously, as we know, when it comes to Crisis Core Reunion, the entire game is going to be voiced this time around. So I'm not sure if they've been working on this game for a like, couple years now. And maybe he was able to record his lines like some time ago, maybe back in 2020, 2019 or something like that. Or if there's going to be those unvoiced sections that need to be voiced by somebody else, but maybe... The majority of the Reno's lines will be voiced by him or something. I'm not entirely sure. Then again, I could be wrong on that. It's been a while since I played Crisis Core. Maybe all of Reno's lines in the original Crisis Core are voiced. So it wouldn't be that complicated to do to transfer lines over. But the point is to put emphasis on the fact that they're doing that. I think it's great. Especially since the guy died a couple years ago. And I personally don't remember seeing this back in 2020. So it's kind of crazy, at least for me, that it went under the radar. I feel like I would have talked about that or mentioned that somewhere in a video. But that does mean that going forward with the remake project, they're going to have to get a new Reno, right? He might have been able to record some or all of his dialogue for like rebirth potentially depends on how early they were doing voiceover for that game but for sure for the third game they're gonna have to get a new arena which is kind of sad and actually speaking of that the guy's been dead for a couple years right so that means they already have to have a new reno lined up you would think for the remake project which means they could have used him for crisis core union but chose not to so again kudos to square enix and again the last bit of the article isn't really anything new it's just them talking about the dmw system and the missions for the game which if you've already played crisis core you know this shit and if you've been keeping up with reunion since it was revealed this is stuff you already know as well so it's kind of a downer video, to be honest, but we definitely had to talk about that shit, but I didn't want to just do a video talking about Sakurai being a fucking cheater, right? Like, I just, it would have felt weird to just do a video only on that topic. But it's a downer video also because I'm just now learning, because of this new shit from Crisis Core, that the OG Japanese voice actor for Reno died. Like, I didn't know that. Like, So it's a downer video in that way, too, at least for me. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So this is where I pass off to you guys, of course. What are your thoughts on what we talked about in this video? For one, your thoughts on the Sakurai situation. You can have whatever opinion you want. I assume most people... Would agree that the guy's a piece of shit, I would <laughs> for lack of a better term. I mean, goddamn, he ruined two women's lives. It's fucked up, dude. But also when it comes to Reno and Crisis Core original, did he have unvoiced lines? Did you think they would have already recorded those, or would they have to get somebody else to fill in those parts? But that's going to be the video, my dude. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Social networks in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, Dash Navy YT. That's it. Bye. You know, Reno, I think you might be due for some R&R. &R.
Nah, I'm good. Used to care what people thought, but now I care more. And nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending. Depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that like old train. We in here like Rogaine or leave it like Cobain.